me bring the finer things. Hey, slim thick with your cute. Hey, I might buy you a new bag. Money bring the finer things. Hey, slim thick with your cute. Hey, I might buy you a new bag. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, January 6th. I'm Taylor Woods. And I'm Nick McGrady. And here are today's announcements. Congratulations to everyone in the entire school corporation, both students and staff, on our highest I-STEP rankings ever. Out of 290 public school corporations, BCSE placed fourth in the state in language arts and first in the state in math. Those combined for an overall ranking of third in state. Congrats to everyone on a job well done. Sophomores and juniors interested in, in, in attending the Area 31 Career Center next school year need to sign up for their, in their team office by Friday, January 22nd. Area 31 representatives will be giving a presentation at BHS on January 26th. Students must sign up in order to attend the meeting. The deadline to order a 2015-2016 yearbook is Monday, January 18th. Yearbooks are $60 and can be ordered by going to www.yearbookordercenter.com. You can then search for Brownsburg High School or type in the code 40408. There will be a short call-out meeting for this year's boys and girls track and field teams after school this Thursday, January 7th in the senior Senior Academy LGI Room. They will be covering many pieces of important information, so whether you have been on the team in the past or are thinking about joining for the first time, please stop by for about 20 minutes. If you have any questions, please see Coach Wagner or Coach, Coach Beckner in the PE office. BHS TV went around school and asked students about their 2016 New Year's resolutions. Here's what they had to say. I spent my New Year's Eve with my family. Um, I spent New Year's Eve with my parents and my brother in Mexico. My New Year's revolution is I ate like bacon chicken wrap ups and had ice cream and cheesecake and had like soda. It's to get away from all the fake people that cheated me in 2015 and find some new friends. To get better grades. I'd like to get some better grades so. Uh, my best memory of 2015 is winning Hendricks County Cheer Competition with my two teams. I think uh, best memory was going to Michigan and uh, spending my Christmas up there with my family. I don't really know about that. I mean, there's a lot of good moments, so there's too many to pick from. We hope everybody achieved their resolutions. The Bulldog Wrestling Team had a very successful winter break when they were invited to compete in the Indiana Wrestling Coaches Association, Team Wrestling State, for the first time in school history. After a long day and four rounds of wrestling, Brownsburg defeated the number one ranked team, Warren Central, 34-24, and captured the state championship title. Congratulations, guys. The girls' varsity basketball team also had a very successful winter break putting together a five-game winning streak. The dogs started off with a win at Avon, followed by defeating Lawrence Central at home. The ladies then helped Coach G get a win against her former school when they won at Greenwood. The dogs wrapped up break with two wins in the Grizzly Cub Classic, defeating Indian Creek and Franklin to bring home the championship. The girls' JV basketball team was able to bring home four wins over winter break. After losing a close game to Avon, the ladies bounced back with a huge 31-point victory over Lawrence Central. The Dogs then got a win at Greenwood and followed that up by defeating both Indian Creek and Franklin in the JV Grizzly Cub Classic. Nice job, ladies. The freshman girls basketball team defeated Avon over break 30-29 in overtime. The ladies were back in action last night at Mooresville where Katie Boucher made a shot as time expired to give the dogs a 33-32 win over the Pioneers. Great job, ladies. The boys varsity basketball team was also in action a few times over winter break. The dogs started off with a win over Avon 50-45 after a tough loss to Ben Davis, the dogs rebounded quickly and got a 22-point victory over Frankfurt. Frankfurt. The guys ended break with another tough loss to Pike. Last night, the varsity boys hosted Avon in the Hendricks County Tournament and came up just short. 
They will host Cascade this Saturday at 10 a.m. Good luck. Last night, the freshman boys basketball team traveled to Morrisville to take on the Pioneers. The dogs got off to a slow start but battled back in the second half, eventually sending the game to overtime on a pair of free throws by Dan Baylor. Unfortunately, it was the Pioneers who would hit the final shot as the horn sounded in overtime, grabbing a 40-38 win over the dogs. Dan Baylor finished with 14 points and Gunnar Reffitt added 9. The guys are back in action next Monday at Pike. The swimming and diving teams were also in action over winter break. At the Hendricks County Tournament, both the boys and girls teams finished in second place. Congrats to Piper Lovett, who captured an individual championship in the 100 backstroke. The teams then headed to North Central Inv Invitational, where they faced their toughest competition of the season and competed well during their meet. Finally, the teams headed to the Perry Meridian Invitational, where both the boys and girls came away as overall champions. The meet was highlighted by Logan Replogle, Rapl Madison Meringer, Frank Schomer, and Kevin Gass, who all won first place in four different events each. Congrats. Last night, the swimmers and divers were back in action against McCutcheon. The girls team won 117-69, to led by Piper Lovett, who finished first in four events. The boys team won 115 and a half to 67 and a half. They were led by Kevin Gass, who placed first in two individual and two relay events. Both teams are back in action at Hamilton Southeastern this Saturday in the HCC Conference Tournament. Good luck. Good luck to the Varsity Girls Basketball Team tonight against Cascade in the Hendricks County Tournament. And good luck to both the girls and boys JV basketball teams tonight when they travel to Avon. That's all we have for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. We will see you on Friday. Love yours.